And I want to close tonight with part two of the commitment. Because we are talking about commitment. Uh -huh. I guess you may readjust. We were standing in the hall while Pastor Kevin was singing. The Lord will make a way somehow. And I turned to Pastor Derek and said, I, I, I say that the Lord will make a way anyhow. I said, now my mind says the Lord will make a way somehow. But my faith says he makes a way anyhow. Now understand when we talk about commitment, it takes faith to be committed. We pulled out verse 8, which identifies that a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. But if you go to verse 5, just using this for reference, if any of you lack wisdom, it's one thing to have knowledge. But if you don't know how to use knowledge, you need to ask for wisdom. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing, it's bad when you see a young fool. I'm, I'm just waiting on y'all to catch up to me. But it's even worse when you see an old fool. And I don't care how educated they are, if they don't have the wisdom to apply the knowledge that they possess. Uh, y'all hear me. If it be like wisdom, let him ask of God to give it to all men liberally and afraid if not, and it shall be given him. Read verse 6 to me. Ask him what? Uh -huh. Some of you don't have your Bible open because your mouth didn't move. Uh -huh. I said read it to me. That meant everybody. Come on, read verse 6 again. Uh-huh. 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 Keep going. tomorrow, you're back in today, you're out tomorrow. How do you expect to get anything out of your relationship with God? Because you hot today, you cold tomorrow. You hot the next day, you cold tomorrow. And he did tell us in Revelation, I wish you'd make up your mind. And either you're going to be hot or cold. What do you do with lukewarm water? You spit it out unless you garden with some salt. Y'all ain't here tonight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm sorry. It's Friday night. I'm going to take my time. Uh -huh. you, know, I, you know, I want to holler. But I got to leave the hollering to Pastor Derry. But I can talk. Uh, and so my brothers and sisters, I want you to know the Lord wants you to know that it is definitely repenting time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said, Pastor, is repentance the same as being sorry? No. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Perhaps in the vocabulary of common speech, but in the vocabulary of faith, the word repentance has a far deeper meaning. Mm -hmm. Understand? It is clear that repentance represents a change. Right. For repentance is a return. Right. The reversal of an earlier wrong choice. Right. Hmm. Right. Hmm. You, you decided. Uh, we saw last night that Jonah's disobedience was calculated. Yeah. It was planned. Right. It was deliberate. 
to say no to God. So if you, as I asked you last night, uh, do you and Jonah have that behavior in common? If so, you need to have a reversal of that earlier wrong choice. Now, 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 since, since my little brothers have identified nobody in here speaks Greek, I'm not going to pronounce the Greek word for repentance, but I'm going to tell you that it emphasizes the fact that faith involved a decision to abandon, to give up the errors of the past and turn to God and His way. To repent is to make a decision that changes the total spiritual and moral direction of your life.